Now I've got to decide what food to take. It's quite a wide choice. I'm hoping to be away for five days, but I'll take um, eight days worth of food, I think. It's nine o'clock on a lovely sunny day in Loch Linney. I've just um, started out for Loch Arlen in the Sound of Mull. Hopefully get to Tobe Moray tomorrow. The tide's running in the right direction. Been rowing for about two hours now and making good progress. It's quite warm. It's flat calm. And uh, we're just passing the super quarry at uh, Glen Sander. That's it over there. See Ben Nevis in the distance. I'm foot steering at the moment. I find it easier than using the water helm because it's calm. I don't have to adjust too much. I'm allowing a little bit for the tide which is running at about 1.3 knots in the right direction. Quite shortly I'll hit the sound of Mull and then I'll have to wait for the flood tide unless I arrive there in slack tide in which case I can keep going. Chicken curry tonight. Hello from Loch Arlen in the Sound of Mull. <clears throat> I've just spent my first night on board Aoife and it all went quite well. I had chicken curry last night for supper. I'm gonna have porridge for breakfast. I've just had a really nice cup of coffee and uh, I set off at uh, 2 p.m. when the tide turns. So I need to get the flood tide north up to Tobermory but I also have to catch the last of the ebb out of Loch Arlen. So I hope I've got that right. Good morning from Tobermory. Another lovely calm day. Forecast is northwesterly three to four. Four to six later. I'm going to head back to Loch Arlen today. Had quite a good night. Anyway, quite looking forward to today's row. Probably take about six hours. Can't read a cup of tea in the morning. This is day four of my expedition up to Tobermory and back to Linney. I'm currently in Loch Arlen Harbour, where it is rather wet, um, unfortunately. I have a long day ahead. I'm going to row back to Linney. I've been plotting my course on the plotter and I will shortly inform the Coast Guard of my intentions. Good morning from Loch Arlen. It's a bit wet here. I hope you can see through the mist and the rain on the lens. I'm shortly to about to depart uh, to my home port of Loch Linney. I'm expecting it to take me about seven, seven hours. I'll stop on the way to wait for change of tide and uh, I'll let you know when I get there. wasn't as strong as I thought it might have been so I had to pull in to find shelter on the west side of Lismore in a tiny little harbour which has just given enough shelter out of the um, out of the waves. I'll give you a quick look. Anyway the forecast is uh, variable three or four so I should calm down and uh, once you get the flood tide again I should get back home. All being well. Made it up to the no extreme northwest end of Lismore and uh, I've only got three miles to go to get home. Um, I'm having an hour's rest. I found a beautiful uh, bay. It's very sheltered. Uh, the wind has calmed right down. 
it was a very heavy row this morning against the wind and uh, some fairly um, relentless uh, waves as well. Um, it was a bumpy night and didn't sleep very much and it was a hard afternoon yesterday so the cumulative effect is uh, taking its toll. Uh, but um, the tide turns at approximately three o'clock and uh, then I'll set off again. Well, I managed to get home last night at about half four after a successful five day row up to Tobermory and back. That was one day longer than expected due to adverse conditions. It all went really well. It was a good confidence building exercise and I feel that much more ready to row the Atlantic next year. Don't forget to support the two charities I'm raising funds for. NASA and Open Seas at my um, Follow the link at, uh, in my website atlanticroman.com